I smell a strong odor of marijuana. Can I search the car? You got ID on you? Your Welcome to Skrill Talk TV, y'all. Brought to you by Thorn Media. I am Skrill Emilian, and today I'm going to take you on the Portland Police Association contract renegotiation meeting. Say that again with me. Portland Police Association contract renegotiating meeting at Portland Community College PCC on the 82nd. Now, Commissioner Hardesty was there. She's great. She's trying to bring the community together and get us more involved on the renegotiating of the contract for the Portland Police Administration or Association. Also, Mayor Ted Wheeler was there to kind of oversee, look over and, you know, take in some concerns. So I'm going to show you the beginning of the meeting and uh, then I'm going to show you perhaps some examples of why we need to have our voices heard. And then I'll give you some information on how to have your voice heard, even though you wasn't at the meeting. Let's go. I'd like to bring, introduce Mayor Wheeler. Thank you so much. And thank you all for being here tonight. Thank you to Portland Community College for letting us use this space once again. I know this is a very busy time of the year for everybody. So the fact that you're here tonight, the fact that there's so many people here, uh, we sure appreciate it. So thank you very much. This is the second of our public listening sessions. As you know, we're in the process of starting up our renegotiations on the Portland Police Association contract. That contract expires at the end of June 2020. So negotiations are going to start soon. I want to thank my colleague, Commissioner Hardesty, for her partnership in these conversations. They really developed from feedback we received from several years ago. The last time that the PPA contract was negotiated, we got a lot of feedback from people who said that the community was not engaged sufficiently, that there wasn't adequate time or opportunity for the public to be heard, and many people expressed concern that they felt like the, the public should have had more of a say in helping to prioritize what we should be discussing during those negotiations with the Portland Police Association. And so that's the spirit which we're here tonight. Uh, I'd also like to thank the city attorney's office. They are here tonight and they will be giving a very brief overview uh, just on the background and the process moving forward just so people have a clear understanding of the context in which we're having this conversation. I uh, want to make sure that we hear from you. I want to make sure that when we enter those negotiations with the PPA, which I fully expect to be um, uh, fair negotiations, we want to reach a fair settlement with our employees in the Portland Police Association, but we also want to make sure that frontline communities and the public voice is heard as well. And you represent that. I want to thank you. For those who are not able to be here tonight, we acknowledge a lot of people cannot take time off in the evening to come here. We want you to know that you can offer online feedback. Uh, you can go to my city website and you will see a link that allows you to actually download a form where you can provide feedback. We will read that feedback. I want to thank people who take the time to do that. So I'm excited to hear from all of you. This is about our community. We need to slow down. We need to take the time to engage and to listen to the public. And I hope this begins that process for you. And with that, I would now like to turn this over to Commissioner Hardesty. For her introduction. <laughs> Thank you, PCC. Thank you, Mayor Wheeler. And know each and every name that is being held up is a story. There's a person who no longer is in our community. So I can't not acknowledge that. And having said that, having said that, that's what makes the job we're here to do tonight so important. We need you, and we need you to help inform a contract that will be fair and will be equitable for all. So thank you, thank you for being here. Appreciate the signs. You can put them down. I can tell you all those stories. And I am so grateful that the Keep Notice Vigil continues on, even though I've been a little busy. 
Um, it's been powerful to see the community step up and really continue Fred Wyron's legacy because, uh, yeah, because it needed to happen. So thank you all. I appreciate what you do outside of this room as well. Okay, so tonight I want to again thank you uh, for showing up. Um, we are here because we want to make sure that we take your voice into the negotiations, that this will not be one that the community is not engaged in the process. Uh, but whenever I do these things, I have ground rules, and, uh, and we need to agree that how we're going to treat each other tonight. And so, are they going to be up? Here they are. <laughs> Boom, just like that. I had my back to it and then it changed. Okay, and so the first ground rule is uh, take space, make space, right? Some of us talk a lot. Not going to call any names, you know who you are. Uh, and others really want to say things and have great things to say, but we don't create a space to give them so that they can do that. So, can we agree that for tonight? We will take space and make space for each other. Okay, that was really weak because if you like, if we start off weak, it can only get worse from there. Okay, so we're going to try this one more time. Can we, as a community, agree that we're going to take space and make space? Yes. All right, now we're together. Thank you. It's okay to disagree. We can challenge ideas. We can challenge policies, but it is not okay to be disagreeable. And so our job tonight is to listen to each other. The mayor and I are not going to talk at all. We will be coming around the tables and we'll be listening in on conversations. So please don't talk to us. This is really about you talking to your neighbors, talking to the community about what the community wants, right? You will hear what we want more than you need to hear, right? But for tonight, this is about you. So can we agree? that it's going to be okay to disagree, but we're not going to be disagreeable people with each other? Yes. Thank you. Number three, this is not a debate. We're here gathering information that will inform our decision making. That is it. We're not going to debate any issues in this room tonight. Can we agree that that is a good rule? Yes. Thank you. Uh, use I statements. Talk about what your lived experience is. Be respectful of lived experiences that are different than your own. Uh, can we agree to do that? Yes. You guys are good. One speaker at a time. It's kind of hard to hear what other people are saying if your lips are moving. And so can we agree that we're going to listen to each other deeply uh, and not interrupt and not talk over each other? Can we agree? Yes. Excellent. And last but not least, no name calling, stereotyping, making assumptions about other people. I always say, but for grace, who knows where I would be, right? So can we agree that we're just not going to just assume that we know people based on whatever crazy things we use to decide how we know people? Can we agree on that? Yes. yes. Excellent. Can we respect each other, especially your facilitator, right? They don't know you people. I know you people. They don't, right? <laughs> so be nice to your facilitator when they tell you it's time to wrap up, please. Just, just support what we're doing here, because this only works if we're all in it together. Can you agree to that? Yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, focus on solutions, ideas, and priorities, right? Clearly, we cannot go into negotiations with 25 demands, right? Because, you know, that just doesn't work in any negotiation, right? So try to focus, set priorities, and come with solutions and ideas. Can we agree to that? Yes. Excellent. Uh, stick to the topic on the table. We're going to be limited to three topics. Otherwise, we'd be here for the rest of our adult life. So we're only going to talk about three topics tonight and only 30 minutes of peace. Uh, and when, you're, when your facilitator says it's time to wrap it up, you're going to support that effort. Can you agree to stick to the topic at hand at the table? Yes. You're getting a little weaker again. Good thing I only got one more. OK. We all share responsibility, right? Uh, right? We're all in this together, right? We, this is our community. 
we have an obligation to make sure that we treat our community with respect. Can we agree that that's how we're going to do it tonight? Yes. Thank you. And my favorite, if you have a cell phone, can you put it on vibrate? Uh, unless you have a sick parent or a child or, but please vibrate because the worst thing that can happen is you are in the middle of a conversation and somebody's phone goes off. Even though I love the music that you don't think is associated with the person, right? Until their phone rings. Can we agree to that? Yes. Excellent. Well, I'm going to turn the mic over now to Matt McNally, who is the best community organizer. But the city of Portland doesn't have a title for that, so we call him out community engagement, outreach, something or other. So, as you can see, Commissioner Hardesty is trying to really put it together to have the community's feedback heard. So, don't let it go in vain. You can either check the link in the description or go to the My City website and click the form to fill out your concerns, needs, wants, suggestions for the Portland Police Association contract. Thanks for tuning in. Like, share, and subscribe to Thorn Media. And hit me next time on Skrill Talk TV. When four guys ride through the parking lot with guns in the car, I get suspicious. But I ain't scary, so I investigate. What's up, guys? Y'all riding deep tonight? Yeah, man. What y'all doing, man? Yeah, do I smell marijuana, man? Huh? Why you smell videotaping me, bro? Can I search the car? Why you videotaping me, bro? Well, man, I'm trying to see. Huh? I smell a strong odor of marijuana. Can I search the car? You got ID I on I you? Lot, you got ID on you? <laughs> I'm going to need to see some ID, bro. You guys look very suspicious right now, Phil. going out here tonight? It's cool, man. We was cool till four suspicious characters pulled up on the scene. You guys doing any criminal activity things tonight, bro? Y'all planning any drive-bys or anything? Maybe, man. You riding full deep with the lights low and all that, bro? What y'all doing out here? Let's see what happens, bro. Oh, oh, man. What's your name? I'm Ashon. Ashon? Yeah, what's your name? What's your no badge number? What's your name, brother? What's your badge number? What do you need my badge over? You want it? Yeah, okay. yeah, what is it? Just... Alright, good way to follow your policy, bro. Have a good day, sir. Uphold y'all off, brother.